Hey, what's going on, people? Listen, just a quick video uh, because there's some place I have to be. But something is about to happen here in the United States of America, man. I'm telling you. Uh, this past week, man, I had like three different dreams, man. Three different dreams this week that's dealing with um, things that's being attacked from the air, so to speak. And I'm just going to speak briefly on two of the dreams. I'm not going to tell you the full dream, but the first dream I had was like some flies came up out of the basement, man. A bunch of flies came out of nowhere and they were just a, a numerable amount of flies. And I, I saw a can of Raid or some type of bug spray and I was just just flying them and just spraying and they was flying and I was spraying them and they was just dropping. But there was two particular flies that stood out that were coming directly at me. And I sprayed them. But anyway, I interpret that as some type of spiritual warfare. Okay? Um, the next night I had another dream that my house looked like some crows, man, that dropped mess all over my house, my garage, my driveway. It's like, it's like them big dodo birds on the Flintstone, just mess all over the place, right? And um, it's like something put me out of my house. And it's like I can hear the guy's voice as an older gentleman. And usually, and this is not a racial thing, but usually whenever I dream of an evil spirit or a devil, it's always in the form of a Caucasian. Now, what that mean, you know, I don't know, but that's just how they usually come. But I heard this guy's voice, and, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, now, how could I let this, this, this thing put me out of my home? So I was going back to claim. But anyway, I'm not going to tell you the whole dream. But the thing that stood out in the dream was the fact that the, the bird stuff, man, they fly and they drop mess on you, right? The dream I had last night is what gave me clarity and more understanding of about what's going to happen. Um, in this particular dream, dream of vision, I was in war. You know, there was a war that was going on and everybody was fighting and whatnot. And um, in this war, they had called the ceasefire. They said the, the war was over. So everyone became very jubilant, man. Everybody was running around and screaming their units, you know, Big Red One, and, and they were just, just celebrating and, and being cheerful. Well, while everyone was being jubilant, someone had came up through the crowd and said, you guys are fools. Don't you know that they are about to attack you? They're about to, to attack, uh, 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 engage in a nuclear attack? And so people, there's some people that probably didn't believe them. And then the person said, well, just look over there. And we looked off in the distance. And in the distance, we saw uh, a nuclear cloud. Okay, I don't know if a lot of you have seen a nuclear cloud before. But they saw a nuclear cloud. And so they said, they're coming right for y'all. They're getting ready to attack you. So then all of a sudden, it was like an air attack, man, an air assault. And you could see, like, where they fired on everyone. And, you know, like, from the air. And these things just dropped to the ground. I can't really describe it, but it just dropped to the ground. And this was, it was a terp type of gas or nerve agent that creates, it makes the person suffer, man. People are in very severe pain, like while they're dying. You know, they suffer before they actually die. So when they dropped this nuclear um, blast on us, uh, people dropped to the ground and they tried covering them, their faces and covering themselves. And all you can hear is people just screaming and wailing and crying and in and, and pain and in fear. They was running crazy, man. People were running around like crazy. People were dropping to the ground. And all you hear, and it was like no way out. It's like just, just complete annihilation, man. Um, and I happened to run inside this house. Uh, and there was nobody occupying the house. And I ran in the basement. And I'm thinking like, okay, at least I can survive here a little longer before whoever the enemy was, you know, decided to want to start looking to see if there was any people that was left alive. And I went to the basement, but when I woke up out of the dream, coming up out of the dream, I can still hear the cries and the wailing and the pain of the people crying out, man, from that nuclear attack. So I'm not going to say it's a nuclear warfare that's going to kick off, but I got a feeling, man, that something is about to happen. I had not been watching the news, I had not, had not been watching television, you know, to, to, to be able to say like, okay, I dreamt this because of something I heard on TV. I haven't heard anything, man. And I just got a feeling from those three genes that where there was attack from the air, 
something is about to happen. I don't know where it's going to hit. Somewhere in the United States, um, the United States is something is going to happen. Something is getting ready to happen. I just got a feeling. I could be completely, totally wrong. I wasn't wrong about the shooting in Texas. I dreamt that. Um, I dreamt the Persian Gulf War before that actually, you know, happened. So something's about to happen, you know, because that's three different warnings, man. And and these people, and when I came up out of the dream, I could still hear these people crying out and wailing and just and then just suffering, man. And and when I woke up, it's like I was congested. You know, I couldn't breathe. You know how you know when you're about to get a cold, your nose is like you know stuffed up. I was all stuffed up, but it was from the dream I had. You know, because of the fact that. That's how I felt in the dream. It was like you can't breathe, man, and, and, and death was like right there at your door. So tell me what you think about this. It's crazy, you know. So I don't know, but I just think that, that the United States is about to be under attack, man. So I don't know. Till next time, I am fearless. <laughs>